Bechoyrois Daf Samach Aleph, we're on the final Daf of Bechoyrois, as we were learning yesterday, a person is in the midst of taking Meiser Behema, and he's letting out the animals one by one from the pen, and as he gets to number 10, is about to take Meiser, number 11 sneaks out with number 10, and by mistake he calls both of them 10th. Now the number 10 has Gdusha to it, so he infused Gdusha not only into number 10, but also into number 11. So they're both Kaddish. The question is, now what? What do we do with these animals? So there's a three-way Machlaikas. Rabbanan say, since we are concerned to bring Kachim Lebeis Apsul, to make extra Kachim, so we can't bring it as a carbon because we're going to be left over with extra Chazah Shaykh, and the only people that could eat it are Koyhanim, and Koyhanim have plenty of meat, and we might have a problem with Noisa, left over Karbanim. So what do we do? We let these animals graze until they have a mum, and then we can redeem them, and we can take another animal and make it instead of the Shlomim, and everything will be fine. Rabbi Shimon says, I'm not concerned with Kachim Beis Apsul. You could add, you could have extra karbanos and extra meat. If it goes to waste, so would be. So what we do is, according to Rabbi Shimon, we let the two animals be a carbon, carbon shlamim, take the stringencies of a shlamim and give the chazan shaykh to a kai. Rabbi Yudha says, no, they both have to die. You put them in a room and starve them, they must die. The pshat is not that Truma has to die, because we see specifically that Rabbi Yudha holds that if one made a mistake with number 11, the 11th one should be Kariv, as a Shlamim. So what is the Pshat? Why does he say both of them must die? Because we're talking about after the Zman Beis Amigdosh, Bizman Azeh, and we are concerned that people might use the animal, shear its wool, plow a field. So we tell them, let's get rid of the, the problems of the Takala, shouldn't be any issues. And the Chiddush is that even though you are killing two animals and it's a tremendous loss, Nevertheless, don't say, wait until it gets a mum, just kill them, get rid of the problem right now. Says the Gemara, if somebody tells a messenger, sends a message and says, do Meiser Behemoth for me, and the Shliach caused that the 11th one should become Kaddish, then his Shlichus is Batal, because he says, look, I didn't send you to ruin things for me, you're causing me a loss, now I have to give the Chaz and Shaykh to the Kai. What happens if he, the Shliach caused that number 9 to be Kaddish? And as we said, Number nine is Necha You have to wait until it befalls the mum, then you can eat it. Is that considered enough damage or not? That's Machlaikis. There's a manoma that says that's a lot of damage. You have to wait a long time until it gets a mum. Another manoma says, but at the end of the day, you could eat the whole thing. You just have to wait a little bit. It's not a mum. Says the Gemara, it's not similar to the case where you send the Shliach to be mafresh truma for you. In that case, if the Shliach added more truma, added 10 or took off 10, then his truma is a truma. Because over there, the Shliach could say, I underestimated you, I thought you are a generous person, and that's why I gave more, or the opposite. But by us, he actually made a mistake. And the sender, the, the guy that sent him, could say, I never sent you, I never intended to send you, if you're going to make a mistake. And with that, we're Messiah in the Masechta. Hajun Allah, Maizr Behima, Uslik Allah, Masechta, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, have a wonderful day.